Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Yes, it's Games Master time again. We are here with another gently lingering soiree set deep in the bowels of our offshore holiday camp. So let's say a big hidey hi to old Noblinese himself, the Games Master. Good evening and welcome to the Games Week. I do hope the helicopter ride wasn't too turbulent. I am sorry to say that the sprite for my first challenge is quite one of the most unappealing I've ever had the misfortune to come across. His name is Chuck Rock. And tonight's first contestant will need to guide his considerable sweaty bulk through the fourth level of the game in less than one minute, 45 seconds. I'll try not to let my aversion for this unsavoury character mar my enjoyment of the game. And here for some big belly stegosaurus butt-kicking action is a young man from Surrey. Please welcome George Xenophontos! <laughs> Now, now, George, we've got this challenge set at 1 minute 45. That's the quickest we think it is humanly possible. What time have you been getting in practice? Well, I've done it the quickest time in 1.50. 1.50. And so, how confident are you? Well, 1.45 is pushing it, but maybe with a bit of luck. You might, might just, you might just, just clock there. it. All yeah. right, then, George, if you'd like to sit yourself down in the game playing chair, we wish you all the best. And helping me out on this challenge is Neil West from Mega. Welcome, Neil. Thanks, Dominic. Great to be here again. OK, any tips for George on this challenge? Um, he's really got to move. He can jump over baddies and he can do flying kicks. It's a lot quicker than belly butting them. Yeah. But he's got to arrive alive, so if he sees a heart, which will replenish his health points, then he's got to take it. OK, George's challenge is get to the end of level and defeat the Stegosaurus in 1 minute 45 seconds. George, are you ready? Then your 1 minute 45 starts now. Okay, off goes Chuck Rock. Okay, he's picked up that boulder. He's got to have that for two things. Firstly, to crush this egg here, which is going to hatch into a nasty. And secondly, to jump on this poor old crocodile's head to send Chuck oh, zooming up in the world. Oh, there he goes. Up in there. Quick belly butt of this pterodactyl. Walk, walk him up there out of his deep slumber, and he's been transported up to a higher plane. That's right. Okay, now it's all fairly linear, there's no shortcuts here, so where he's got to pick up time is just making sure he doesn't take any hits. Picked doesn't... up a little heart there just to sort of replenish his energy. That's right, that will help. That heart down the bottom left, if that disappears down to nothing left at all, then he's going to die. His idea is to keep it big and red as it is at the moment. Okay, oh now he took a hit there, was that just yeah. to save time? Yeah, that was a clever move, that was intentional. He could have gone back, picked up a boulder and then gone over that carefully, but that would have wasted lots of seconds and he hasn't got any to spare. Okay, he's got one there minute left, another he's saved up another heart there. Okay, he's not doing too badly at all. He could do okay here. Oh, he got hit. Oh, that's yep, quite that clever. was another clever move. If Chuck takes a hit, not only does he scream, um, it was a very painful expression, but he also <laughs> leaps straight up into the air. And that way he cut out having to jump on the bowler and went straight up. Right, he's now to the boss. Okay, he's got 41 seconds left to defeat this boss. Can okay. he do it, Neil? Yeah, he can do it. As long as he doesn't muck around, doesn't take any hits. He's got, yeah, he's got the method sorted out. There's no quicker way of doing it. It's just now a matter of beasting it out. Okay, he's got, he's got 30 seconds left to try to go, Martin. This is going to be very, very close. It is going to be close. How many hits is that left with? Uh, yeah, the boss needs eight in total. I think that was his third or fourth. He's going to have to, he's only got 20 seconds left. He could do okay. He he's can move quite fast for really, such a fat bloke, you know. He's going to have to really hurry here. He's only got 13 seconds left. This is going to be very, very it's tight and busy for George Zeta Okay, eight, I think, I think it's seven, just one more Hit. Six, this might be the last five, hit. four, no, three, one more after this. Two, one more. And one. he's dead. Oh no, he's he could have made it. He George's made challenge it. is over. They don't come much closer than that. Five right, George. No. Thank you. Thank you. Now, George, that was desperately close. Neil and I reckoned you just needed one more hit on them at the end and you would have won it. It was nerves. Yep, yep. Well, it happens to the best of us. So, a big round of applause for our Gallic competitor, George Serafontos! <laughs> Now, while this week's celebrity limbers up for his Olympian task, let's check out this week's reviews.
Tonight, we hop, skip and curse our way through platform games. First up on the Super NES, Duck the Daring battles to save his babe in Dragon's Lair. It's just a normal sideways and up and down scrolling sort of fighty kind of platform game. You have your snakes, your bats, your obligatory castle, your damsel in distress, and all the we've seen it before. Not much challenge. It all gets rather dull very, very quickly. And really, at the price it is, it's not the sort of game that I'd rush out and buy. Next, heart-rendingly cute sprites with good intentions finally fluff onto the Master System. It's the New Zealand story. It's immensely playable, very addictive, very cute, um, and generally really worth playing. Really, I, I think that this is one of the best games I've seen on the Master System, actually, for quite a long time. Finally, grown man found with children and fairy on desert island. It's Hook on the Super NES. It's very unoriginal and it's also very easy. Uh, within a few days, you've cracked it. If you thought the film was crap, then this might just about make up for it. It's really attractive to look at and the movements are very fluid and smooth and the sprites are big and detailed. and It's really commendable. <laughs> And now for this week's feature. Those of you who have tried to strut your stuff to the music from a Game Boy will know that something is most definitely missing. However, help is at hand as more and more musicians are using the sound from video games as the basis for chart-busting tracks. Sample Master T shows us how with Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. We want to make it into something much more interesting. So I think we're going to speed that up. Let me turn this off. See if we can play it on the keyboard over here. Yeah, now, now you're talking. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. We're gonna go with that. Now what do I need? Uh, I need a break, that's it. I need to call a DJ friend over here and he can cut it in for me. Yeah, rude boy. Yeah, peace. Okay, you gonna give me a break? Yeah. Yeah, take that off. Right, record's on. He's just gearing it up. Yeah, got it. Okay, let's go. Right. Now, for the final touch, all we need is the vocals. And here's something I prepared earlier. Hi. Right. Yeah, I'm OK. Ready? Games Master, let's play a game. Great. All the ingredients are in place. We've come from this to an almighty this. If you want to fiddle with some samples of your own, Funkmeister T will be at Games Master Live, a three-day show at the National Exhibition Centre in December. In addition to this, you can have Run Around and Blast Your Mates Action Ahoy in Quasar. Grab an unfeasibly large helmet and get stuck into some virtual reality for yourself. We'll have all the latest arcade games for you to fiddle with. Yours truly will be hosting challenges where you can take on the people you've seen on TV and best of all, you can check out all the new games and hardware which will kick with the best of them and get your glands secreting like they've never done before. Here's all the info you'll need. The dates, December 4th, 5th and 6th. The place, the Birmingham NEC. The phone number for information and bookings is 021-780-4133. Do tell them if you're in the Games Master Club because we've got special deals for all members. Well, tonight's special guest is waiting in his chalet, champing at the bit in his eagerness. So let's put him out of his misery and go over to Games Master for tonight's Celebrity Challenge. I'm so pleased you returned. It can get a mite isolated up here, not to mention a trifle chilly round the girders. Knowing how partial I am to a good, fair fight, you probably won't be terribly surprised to learn that for my second challenge, I've opted for an old favourite, Sonic Blastman. You have three punches with which to destroy a meteorite and record the highest possible tonnage. I trust you won't let me down. In the last series, arcade champion Paul Turner showed that he can live with the best of them on this game. Well, this time we've got him against one of the true greats, 
So please welcome our champion, Paul Turner, against tonight's challenger, Frank Bruno! <laughs> Right the back, Paul. Now, now, Frank, in the last series, I must tell you, do not underestimate this man because yeah. he took Gary Mason to the cleaners. How Did do you he? feel about I'm it? I'm going to take him to the cleaners <laughs> yeah, and wash him as well. Okay. Yeah. Well, Paul, what's your reply to that? How do you think you'll handle Big Frank? Well, he's number one and i just got to take him out. He may be big and strong, but he's just going down. Okay, before this gets into a little pre-match fracas here, could I ask you, gentlemen, both of you, the best of luck. Take your places by the machine and we'll get ready to start. Okay, and joining me ringside is Tim Boone from CBG Magazine. Welcome, Tim. Hi, Dominic. Now, Tim, in the last series, I backed Paul, and he did me proud then. I'm going to back him again. I think he's got the superior technique to beat Frank's power. Well, we've seen, we've seen Paul in training, and he's a very steady bet. But let's face it, Frank has been in the ring against Mike Tyson. So well, that's where the clever money is. OK, we've got a little bit of disagreement in the commentary box. If you want to find out who's going to win between the arcade champion Paul Turner and the ring legend Frank Bruno, join us after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm here with Tim Boone from CVG Magazine, and we're about to witness the slug out of the century between arcade champion Paul Turner and the great Frank Bruno. The game is Sonic Blast, man. Basically, they've got to knock out a meteorite with three punches. Whoever gets the most tonnage aggregate at the end of the three punches is tonight's winner. So, Paul, you are going to punch first. Are you ready? Then throw that first punch. Okay, so here comes Paul, a lovely big wind up there. Oh! 132 tons for the first punch. Excellent first punch there. Here comes Paul, winding up for his second punch there. Frank's giving him a bit of encouragement there. Oh, another thumping one there. 130 tons, another big one. I think Frank was trying a bit of gamesmanship there. <laughs> Frank's trying to wind him up a little bit there, Tim. Yep, for sure. Frank is obviously a good sport, but he's obviously very confident. Here we go, big one. Oh, a lovely big one for Paul to finish with. And Paul this could gets be. for that one, 129 tons. That's a very big average. Very respectable point. score. OK, well, that's, that was Paul's final punch there, and Paul has scored a total of 391 tons there, which is a very good, uh, very good attempt. And an excellent attempt, excellent, but I think uh, we were looking for something very special from Frank here, and I think he's going to deliver. OK, so, Frank, take your first punch. Here comes Frank. Frank's winding up here. Oh, that's oh. a monster one there. Slightly curved round it, though, yeah. Tim. I think that's what Frank calls his banana punch. Oh, and Look dear. at the size of that. 146 tons. And he didn't yeah. even take much of a swing. Dear, oh, dear. Off here, second, Frank. Go yeah, on. Off you go for your second, Frank. Go on. Oh, oh a dear. monster from Frank there. 142 tons there. I can't wait for it to get back up again. Look he at him. He wants to get to over that again. <laughs> Where's Mike this? Tyson now? This is your final punch, Frank. OK, off you go. Oh, another whopper! I think he's got this one in the bag. Well, he's, he's one hundred and forty-two tons. Oh, dear me! No competition. Four hundred and thirty tons for Frank. So Frank Brilliant. Bruno Brilliant. is tonight's winner. <laughs> Now, Frank, I bet against you. Was that foolish of me? Um, it was very, very foolish. I told you I was going to take him to the cleaners and give him a good wash, two-hour wash. Right, listen, Paul, you were the undefeated champion. You've just been beaten by Frank. What happened? Was it the power on the day? Well, he's number one in the world, so I took my shot and I lost, but I'm still king of the arcade, so that's what matters. OK, I'm that's lucky. great. OK, well, Frank, I know you've, you've won many awards in your time, yeah. but I'm sure none as prestigious as the one that you've won now. That's why I wanted to win, because I knew who was going to give the, the awards. So I was so excited. <laughs> oh. All right. So tonight, Frank Bruno is the winner of our wonderful Golden Games Master Joystick! <laughs> Let's give it a round of applause for our gunners, the Paul Turner and the great Frank Bruno. <laughs> okay, yes. So, 
So while Frank leaps merrily away with his newfound prize, it's time for mortals everywhere to expose their limitations and beg for answers from the Games Master in the Consultation Zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my consultation area up here on the helipad. How can I help you? On the game Faxana, though, I can get the ruby ring, but I can't get any further. Please, can you help? In a word, yes. Once you reach the fountain, simply push the masonry and it will move to one side. This will trigger a hidden ladder from above, inviting you into unexplored territories. Oh, thanks, Games Master. My pleasure. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. On Monkey Island 2, I can never seem to win the spitting contest. So, how can I do it? Spitting is terribly antisocial and not something I like to give advice on. However, since you ask, I'll make an exception just this once. Go to the bar, buy a blue and yellow drink, then mix them together to make a green one. Drink this green potion to make your phlegm thicker and spit when you see the breeze disturbing the scarf around the wrist of the woman in the audience. You should now win the contest with ease. Next, please. Hi. On Fighting Masters on the Mega Drive, I like to fight my mate as the same monster. Is it possible? It is indeed. Select two players, and when choosing the first player, put the cursor over your favourite monster and press up and A simultaneously. The same character will now come up on player two. Cheers. That's enough titbits for this session. I don't want to spoil you now, do I? So, some more happy terre-tetes on the helipad there. Now it's time for tonight's final challenge, and here to detail it, back to Games Master. Tonight's final challenge is on a game called Zool. Zool is a feisty young sprite, arriving from the nth dimension, a plane of existence not too many light years away from my own. This will be a straight dash to a specially designed level. Quite simply, the fastest time wins. Watch out for your energy, but above all, go like the clappers. Good luck to you. For this challenge, it's time for one of our umbilical forays into the mother-son arena. So please welcome Mavis and Matthew John Minor. <laughs> Now, now, Mavis, should more mothers play video games? They should. I've had a good go on the Zool. It's been very good. Have you, uh, I know you've been practising. Who's been getting the fastest time? Um, Matthew, majority of the time. Me, about once. I've so been. we could mm. see a little bit of an upset here tonight. Yeah. Now, Matthew, it looks like your mother might have tried to hamper you a little bit there. Has she dropped a heavy joystick on you? Or what's the score with the wrist? Um, well, I've done it in school, doing PE. I was running backwards. All right, well, we wish you all both the best of luck. So, Mavis, if you'd like to go first, plop yourself down in the game's playing chair. Matthew plus wrist, if you'd like to linger in the background. We'll get ready to start. And joining me in the commentary box is Game Zone's very own Jeremy Kev Daldry. Jeremy, what is Azul and what does he do? Well, actually, Azul is a mutant ninja from beyond the nth dimension. The nth dimension. And what attributes do you get in the nth dimension? Well, among them are spitting fireballs and pulling out a special ninja sword, which can cut down anything in its path. So, both of our contestants have to try and get the quickest time they can on the special Games Master level. Mavis, are you ready? Then off you go. So, off goes Mavis. Now, what was that little ninja magic thing in the air there? What does that do? Well, like I said, that was ninja magic. We should have let Zool jump extra high in the air, but she didn't really make the most of it there, unfortunately. OK, but she's doing quite well. She's only been going for 13 seconds. Doing very well. At the top of the screen, we can see three flashing red bars. That's the energy Mavis has left. In the bottom left of the screen, there's a little arrow pointing diagonally upright just now. That tells Mavis where the special end of level is. She's passing the signs of everyone's favourite video game show there. She's doing very well, Jeremy. Only she's, 30 seconds. She's bombing through here. This is a great surprise. She's doing very, very well. She's using a very good tactic by staying in the air as often as possible, whilst avoiding all the baddies. Right, a little bit of a slow bit. It's going to take a wee bit to get our bushes up there. 42 seconds gone. This is very, very fast indeed. Who is up there? This is the special jump ninja. Oh, what a head straight up. Athletic leap there. 
And we should point out this is certainly not as easy as it looks. Very tricky control Quite system. Us. Oh, Mavis, Mavis, she's done it. 54 seconds for Mavis. That's the time Matthew has to beat. So, Mavis, if you'd like to swap with Matthew now. Okay, Matthew has to beat 54 seconds. That's going to be quite tough, Jeremy. That's a tough time. He's going to have to motor. Matthew, are you ready? Then off you go. Okay, and here goes Matthew. Or anything, Matthew's got his work cut out for him here, Dominic. He's not wasting any time, though, Jeremy. He's using the same area. Oh, so now, maybe slow down a little bit on that wall there. Matthew sprung through it relatively easily. That's right. This is a fast time. He's took a hit there. I'd like just to say again, the energy bars are at the top of the screen, but he's regurgitated his energy there, replenished it even. He's only had 23 seconds, 54 seconds to beat. I think if I was Mavis, I'd be very worried right now. I think Mavis is, despite his rest, Matthew's doing incredibly well, streaking through this. He's only had 34 seconds. I think short of a disaster, Matthew's going to take this time, Jeremy. I think so. I mean, I can't see anything going wrong here. Just getting up this last little section. He's very late 42 seconds, 43. Home. He's done it. In 43 seconds, Matthew trounces on Mavis's time to be tonight's winner. Thank you. Well, Mavis, for a few fleeting moments there, mothers everywhere were united in a common aim. What held you up? The walls. I kept getting stuck on them. You were getting <laughs> stuck on those walls. Does, what everybody wants to know now, though, Mavis, does this signal your retirement from video games? No, I should conquer that one when it comes out. All right, now, Matthew, I bet you breathed a sigh of relief. What would have happened if you got beaten by your mum? Well, I think my friends would have broke my other arm. <laughs> Well, as a result of that, Matthew, you are a winner of the most glitziest prize in television land, the Games Master Golden Joystick! So let's have another round of applause for our two brilliant competitors, Mavis and Matthew John Minor. Well, that's another show in the bag, another lovely mixture of laughter and tears. And we've got some more to come with supper tonight. Auntie Marisha's bypassed herself with the cockles on croute with a cod's road dip. The mind boggles. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Good night. <laughs>